Hey, how you doing? How's it going? How's it hanging? I hope it's nice. Yeah, comfortable. At least. Uh, I just got home a little bit ago. Yeah, been working since about 4 a.m. today, earlier today. So, long day, but I'm not complaining. I need the hours, especially because I'm going to I'll be short some hours this coming week um, because on on Tuesday or I normally would be getting about seven hours in a day you know, I'm only going to end up getting like two and a half because I have to go to our, our new store that we're opening for a kind of a preview thing for friends and family or something like that and uh, you know I'm only going to be working from 3.30 to like 6 or something like that so I'm going to take a little bit of hit on my hours for the week I don't know about all of you, but you know when I come up a few hours short of my paycheck, it it hurts, um, especially this time of year. You know, when, when all some of the bills are a little bit higher because of the you know heat and the utilities and so forth. But you know, what am I gonna do? I'll make do somehow. In the meantime, I got my Z chest today. I've already taken the tape off, so you didn't have to see me fucking around with it. Um, We'll do it real quick. I don't waste any time here. I got food out there cooking. I had one thing I had to eat today was a sausage biscuit and a little breakfast burrito, and that was many, many hours ago. So I'm ready to uh, get something to eat, relax for a couple of hours, and then go to bed. So let's see what we got. I don't know what the hell. Man, that's just weird. Alright, here we have. Looks like a shirt. Oh, it's a long sleeve shirt. And it's bright. Infection danger, zombie outbreak. I like that. I do like long sleeve shirts. I mean, even like majority of the year, I like. I mean, like these, like like Henley, you know, the thinner long sleeve shirts. So I like that. That's excellent. I might wear that on Christmas. It's very festive. All right. See, next I got this weird thing in here. I don't know what the hell it is, but it feels real weird. Oh, it's a mold of a brain. I'm not exactly sure what you use it for. I guess you could make a really big ice cube with that, or chocolate. You could make a big chocolate, like make make a chocolate and peanut butter filled brain. Yeah, and then, and then you could actually go over or, or like or fill the mold, brush the mold with like a pink chocolate. Because I actually do make pink chocolate. My my grandmother, um, who's still around, unfortunately, I mean she's in a nursing home now, but um, she used to own a place called Sugar Shack in Covington, Ohio, and she made you know, she was well known for making like wedding cakes and stuff like that. But she also had a lot of chocolate molds. And she would make all kinds of different chocolates for all the different holidays and everything. And you'd use like, almost look like, like paint brushes to paint the details and stuff in. And then you'd fill it with chocolate and then put it in the freezer. So, that'd be pretty cool. It's almost like life size too, you know. It's weird to think that we have that in our head. And it's responsible for everything that we do. It's just, it, it, it's, it's mind-boggling when you think about it. All right, next. This feels like maybe a Funko Pop. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, no. Whoa. Are you shitting me? You gotta be shitting me. Look at that. It's called VR Park 
work with you, your phone. I guess they have something that you can like. It's got like a thing, so obviously you use your phone with it. I'll have to look into that. <laughs> That's really cool. And I'll have to... That just blows my mind right there. Again. Now my hair's all like foobard. Oh well. Such as like, man, they get a lot of stuff in this box. I'm very impressed. Okay, here we have a. I'm not sure what this is. To open it up and look, it's cloth. I know that much. No, it's a pair of socks. A pair of little dinky socks with a zombie on it. That's pretty cool. I don't think. Whether I'd wear them. I might, I might keep them. Hell, I might wear them around the house. Never know. It's just me and a dog here. He's not going to give a shit. Alright, next. Oh, we've got candy. Hey, it's a long time since I had these. Yeah. Mike and Ike. Zour Zombies. Sour Fruit. You got Leary Lemon, Ghoulish Green Apple, Weird Watermelon, Rip Raspberry, or R.I.P. Raspberry, and Creepy Cherry. I might eat those after I have some regular food. I don't know. I might. Next. Oh, we got a little decal. Looks like. Zombie killer. I could put that on my that thing there. And the last thing in here, I think it's the last thing, except for the card. Yeah, looks like a, another graphic novel called Rise. I believe I got one of these um, in one of the other ones. Um, from what I understand, these are all supposed to be. Like stories that take up shortly after the going on or the, the plot of uh, Night of the Living Dead. It's got some of the same characters and stuff in it. So. It's cool. Overall, like I said, I mean, Z Chest, I, I, I know it's going to be a struggle for me these next couple months to uh, be able to have the boxes that I get. Oops. Each month, but uh, you know, Z chest, I'm I'll, I'll struggle through somehow because I mean, you can't beat them. It's just it's freaking amazing, and what a great Christmas gift! All right, here we quick because I'm sure my food's about getting done out there. Uh, we had the Jello mold. Oh, it's a Jello mold. I guess that would make more sense. Yeah, because that'd be a lot of fucking chocolate to put in that mold. So I'll have to get some Jello and make a, a Jello brain. Uh, Jello Mold, and then we had the VR headset compatible with the leading phones. This VR headset will allow you to play all the latest and greatest zombie games on the Google Play Store and the App Store. It says anything cardboard compatible. I don't know what that means. Um, Rise, Sisters Keeper, Take Two Interactive Software, and Bioshock, Grand Theft Auto. Line of comic book series. Each start at the end of the 60s classic Nine Living Dead. The zombie Killer decal. The Z chest exclusive T. Long sleeve and salty green. Don't really look green. It looks more like yellow. This plays reminiscent to the signs posted when the apocalypse began. Zombie socks and the Mike and Ike zombie candy. And uh, as always, it says, we hope you enjoyed this month's Z-Chest. I did. Thank you very much, Z-Chest. You knocked it out of the park once again. Have a wonderful holiday season from all of us here at Z-Chest. Thank you for supporting a small Colorado company. No item is meant for child use. Please use discretion. In other words, don't let your child run around the house wearing this as a hat. 
It's not what it's meant for. It's a jello mold. And, and there's the front of the card. Mm, baby. Alright. That's it. I'm hungry. So if you like what you've seen in Z Chest, go to zchest.com, check it out, sign up. Nothing else. I mean, you're not under no obligation, you know. Try it out for a month, two months, whatever. Sign up to the month to month thing. You know, if it's not your cup of tea, so to speak, you can cancel at any time. But I mean, overall, it works out to be right around thirty dollars. I can't remember the exact amount. It might be a little bit under, it might be a little bit over. But overall, you're getting your money's worth. And if you like zombies, this is the box to get. Because every month, that's all it is: zombie and undead stuff. That's it. I'm going to go eat. Everybody, uh, take it easy. Look out for each other. Respect each other. And you know what? I'm going to say it might not be politically correct because so many people get offended by every fucking little thing in the world these days. But you know what? Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Have a great Kwanzaa. You know, whatever the, the holiday is that you celebrate around this time of year, have a good one. But for me, it's Merry Christmas. That's what it is. So, ho, 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 and Merry Christmas. I'll see you later.